हेलो डी स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द साइंस क्लास डी स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर फाइन एंड यू आर स्टडिंग एट योर होम ओके वी वर स्टडिंग अबाउट द कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ फूड दिस इज द सेकेंड लेसन टिल नाउ वॉट ऑल वी लर्न लेट अस रिवाइज वंस अगेन हियर यस डी स्टूडेंट्स एज हैव टोल्ड देर आर सम ऑफ द एसेंशियल न्यूट्रिएंट्स ओके कैन यू टेल विच आर द एसेंशियल न्यूट्रिएंट्स प्रेजेंट इन अवर फूड यस द फर्स्ट वन इज अ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स फैट्स प्रोटीन्स मिनरल्स वॉटर रफेज विटामिन्स दीज आर द सम ऑफ द एसेंशियल न्यूट्रिएंट्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन अवर फूड एंड इट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू आवर बॉडी ऑल्सो यस वी हैव टू ईट ऑल द टाइप ऑफ फूड हियर देन ओनली वी विल गेट ऑल द न्यूट्रिएंट्स टू आर बॉडी If not, we are not get if if we are not getting sufficient nutrients to our body, then the deficiency diseases will start coming. Okay, so today in this video class we will study about the deficiency diseases. Before going to start the deficiency diseases concept, let us see the one of the important definition that is balanced diet. Yes, in your previous video uh, classes, you have studied about the concept balanced diet. You know this term. Then, what is balanced diet? Can you define? Let us see the definition of a balanced diet. Balanced diet is a one kind of a diet. Okay, it contains what proper amount of each nutrient. As there are some of the essential nutrient in a balanced diet also. Okay, which it should, uh, all the nutrient should be covered here. Okay, a diet that contains proper amount of each nutrient according to the age, height, weight, and occupation of an individual. So we have to follow balanced diet. If we are not following the balanced diet, then the, defi the deficiency diseases will come. Okay, nothing but it is one of the diet. In the in this diet, all the nutrients should be included. If there is a, any one nutrient is absent, then the deficiency diseases starts. Okay, let us see now the next point. People who do not get proper balanced diet suffer from various deficiency diseases. Yes, dear students, as I have already told that if we are not eating proper balanced diet then what happens then we will get a deficiency diseases okay so we have to eat combination of a food we should not depend on only one kind of food here if you are eating only the rice then only you are getting carbohydrates to your body you are not getting remaining nutrients to your body if you want to get all the nutrients to your body then you have to follow what you have to follow balanced diet you have to eat vegetables also fruits also cereals pulses okay all you have to eat then only you will be healthy if not the deficiency diseases starts okay i hope even you all will eat all the kind of food okay let us see the definition of a deficiency diseases yes i have told here the deficiency diseases then what is deficiency diseases let us see here diseases that are caused by the lack of some particular nutrient in a person diet are called a deficiency diseases yes dear students here deficiency diseases are the diseases then how they are caused they are caused by the lack of nutrient see they are caused by the lack of some particular nutrient if there is a absence of any nutrient then only the deficiency diseases will occur so what is a deficiency diseases diseases that are caused by the lack of some particular nutrient in a person's diet are called a deficiency diseases as i have already told the balanced diet okay in that diet all the nutrients it should contain if there is any one of the nutrient is missing then you will get a deficiency diseases okay i hope you have understood the definition of a deficiency diseases let us see here the deficiency due to carbohydrates nothing but if there is a 
less amount of carbohydrates in your body then which diseases you are getting that we will study here okay deficiency due to carbohydrates if there is a lack of carbohydrates in your body if there is a less amount of carbohydrates in the body then which diseases we are getting that we will study here as you all know that carbohydrates are the chief source of energy for the body yes i have told these are the energy giving food what are the carbohydrates these are the energy giving nutrients yes these carbohydrates will provide us a energy so the energy produced by a carbohydrates are used by our body to perform various tasks yes dear students as you all know that why we are eating the food to get a energy why we need energy then if we want to do any kind of work we want energy if there is a no energy in our body we can't do any work we can't perform any task we can't do any work here okay so if you want energy to your body then which nutrient should be there carbohydrate is necessary to our body so if there is a lack of carbo if there is a lack of carbohydrates nothing but less amount of carbohydrates is there in our body then what we will what what happens body weakness will come and the next one is loss of stamina you lose your stamina nothing but tiredness you will feel weakness okay what what happens if there is a little carbohydrates in a diet then it leads to a weakness and tiredness this is the about the deficiency carbohydrates too little carbohydrates in a diet leads to a weakness and tiredness as i have already told if there is a little amount of carbohydrates in our body then we will not get energy to our body if we don't have energy then we will become weak and we will feel tiredness it causes a physical and mental stress see physically also even from mentally also you will start feeling stress here a balanced intake of carbohydrates is must for a healthy person if you want to stay healthy then what you have to get you have to get a carbo proper amount of carbohydrates is to your body overeating carbohydrates on other hand makes some people overweight and obese see dear students okay how much our body requires carbohydrates only that much amount of carbohydrates we have to eat if we eat more amount of carbohydrates nothing but overeating overeating is nothing but if you eat more amount of carbohydrates then what happens okay the peer, the people will get a overweight overweight is nothing but weight will increase more and obese obese is nothing but what your the fatness will increase more here obese so then if obesity comes then what happens the obese people have a high probability of suffering from a disease such as a heart problems if a person becomes more obese nothing but more fat then what happens he will get a heart problems and even a diabetes also okay see if you eat more amount of carbohydrates then also problem if you eat less amount of carbohydrates then also the diseases will come so you have to maintain a proper amount of carbohydrates to your body yes dear students if there is a lack of carbohydrates then what happens weakness and tiredness yes if over overeating of carbohydrates leads, leads to overweight and obese then obesity leads to what heart problem and diabetes remember these simple words here okay so what we have to eat we have to eat a proper diet proper amount of carbohydrates if we are if there is a lack of carbohydrates then weakness and tiredness will come to our body what will come weakness and tiredness and even a physical and mental stress also so lack of carbohydrates leads to weakness and tiredness and physical and mental stress these are the two causes if there is a deficiency of carbohydrates okay what will happen weakness and tiredness and physical and mental stress and if there is a overeating of carbohydrates if you eat more amount of carbohydrates then what happens okay overweight and obese 
overweight and obese overweight is nothing but increase of weight obesity is nothing but the people becomes fat here okay if the people become fat then he will he may or she may get what here heart problems and diabetes also this is all about the deficiency of carbohydrates so always we have to eat what we have to eat a combination of food if you eat a combination of food then you will get all the nutrients to your body if you are depending only on one kind of food then what happens you will not get sufficient nutrients to your body so dear students even you all have to eat a combination of food all the kinds of food you have to eat whether it may be the green vegetables fruits vegetables cereals pulses nuts even the milk products also all the kind of food we have to eat then only our body condition will be healthy if you want to stay healthy eat combination of food okay this is about the deficiency of uh, disease uh, carbohydrates we learn today in the next video class again we'll see about the deficiency of proteins and fats so now it's a time for the homework so what you have to do the same thing here the difficult words i have given write five times in your rough book and another homework is you have to read the lesson and you have to mark the important points in your textbook and you have to make a one a points in your rough book also okay let us see the difficult words deficiency the first word d e f i c i e n c y deficiency the next word b a l a n c e d balanced d i e t diet the next word is a disease next one is adequate weakness tiredness obese causes according suffer these are the some of the difficult words from today's concept in the next video class again we'll continue with this lesson have a nice day study well dear students thank you